When building games, you can load a sprite sheet instead of a single image to get motion. To make it easier to build a sprite sheet, we're going to use Texture Packer. There are many programs like this to build sprite sheets. You can also use free online sites to build sprite sheets. Texture Packer is available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. After installing Texture Packer, you need a game asset set. On GameArt2D.com, go to the freebies section. I'm going to use Cute Girl in this tutorial. You can pick any sprite sheet asset that you want. You can use your own sprite sheet. Uh, this tutorial will apply to any type of sprite sheet. The Cute Girl free sprites are downloaded as a zipped file. If you extract it, they're individual PNG files. If you go into the PNG uh, subfolder, you'll notice that there's different types of motions such as running or walking or jumping. I'm going to focus on the walking set for this tutorial. Start up Texture Packer using the free version. Copy and paste all the files that start with the word walk from the Cute Girl free assets into the Texture Packer pane on the left. In this tutorial, I'm always selecting the free features only. You can also disable the paid features for this workspace. In the pink box at the bottom, click on the disable features. With the pro features disabled, you'll see it in an upright format like this. In the left hand pane, select all the files. Under the sprite settings, set the sprite specific scaling to 0.25. If you click on the preview animation button on the top bar, you can see that um, you'll have a little preview of the animation and then you can adjust the frame or the frame rate. In the settings for the project itself, I'm going to use the output files the framework is JSON hash. This is for flame game development with Flutter. This is only if you want to follow with the next tutorial, which will use a texture packer a package with flame games. Depending on your framework, you may want to use a different settings. If you're following my tutorial, use JSON hash. Publish it and then save it to your local computer. Or we're going to use this in the next video to import it into a Flutter game. There's going to be two files. One I'm going to call spritesheet.png and the other one is going to be spritesheet.json. We're going to move this into the assets folder of the Flutter Flame game for use within our game. The speed at which the animation takes place, you can preview it within Texture Packer. You can also just change the variable when you're developing the game in Flame. However, it might be nice to compare it uh, within this nice editor here. So initially the speed is very low, but you can speed it up to 20 frames per second around, depending on what we want. Initially I have the, uh, the frame rate pretty low. So in flame it's the step time here. This is the step, this is the pause between the different frames, right? So if the step time is larger here, if it's one, it was previously a under one as a decimal, she's going to be pretty slow. If you reduce that step time, um, how much time it takes per step to something lower, she's going to be walking a bit faster. This is for the walk sprite component, so if you wanted her to go faster, we'd build another sprite component for run. Okay, congratulations! In the next video, we'll drop her into our game. There are many other videos in the 2022 Flame Tutorial series, as well as 26 videos in the 2021 series. Subscribe to the channel for future updates. These videos are on Teachable as a free course. There is no upsell as this is purely a hobby for me. I'm using Teachable only for the progress so you can see how far you have progressed with the course. It also makes it easier for me to organize the videos and the sequence of information that I'm presenting. In whatever way you choose to learn, the most important thing is to keep on trying to learn and have fun while doing it. Have a great day.